Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and I'm already sweating profusely. I literally just turned my AC off like two minutes ago to get my lights set up, and uh, sweat. <laughs> Thankfully, it is now August, so we're one month closer to summer being over. For those of you that don't know, fall is my favorite. I love fall. I cannot wait for fall. But I guess that's a subject completely off the rails from this video, which is an update for my Pan That Palette 2019 ABH subculture. I have finished another shade, and I've actually hit pan on a new shade. So, I mean, I don't want to jinx anything, so knock on wood, but this is going pretty dang well. And I think I'm on track to finish this up by the end of this year because we still have this is now august we have can i do math five months four months months we have months left so before i show you where i currently am and all the new progress that i've made let's go ahead and take a look back at all of my previous updates And this is my palette now, guys. Look at this. I finished Electric. Electric is completely gone. Totally finished up that shade. So we have two full shades completely used up now. I've also really expanded the pan here in Rowdy. You can see that there's no more product at all on the top or on the sides. It's really just this little bit on the bottom left. So I really think that is going to be done by our next update. I've also... Look at this. I've hit baby pan in Adorn. And then I've also just barely expanded the pan in Destiny and in Fudge. So I was very excited and also kind of a little bit sad to finish Electric up because that was my favorite shade to use all over my lid as an inner corner highlight. I loved it. I got full use out of it. So I'm glad that I was able to finish that shade up. Now the only shimmer I have left in this palette is Adorn, and I want to tell you guys how I've actually been liking wearing it. So I've been using this as like a crease slash transition shade. I'm wearing it today. My favorite... So I'm wearing it today. My favorite go-to neutral look has been this one. So I put Adorn all throughout my transition and crease and then i deepen up my outer v with fudge so i use fudge just a little bit and then i use fudge on the lower lash line sometimes i'll throw a, like a stila glitter and glow all over my lid but today i just wanted to keep it very simple get this up so those are just the two shades that i'm wearing today i'm all sh i'm actually wearing lashes today lashes i'm actually trying to wear lashes more these are lashes from shop miss a i did place another order because they just came out with some uh, brush and sponge cleaning products, like a cleanser, and if I could find a good cleanser for a dollar, hell yeah. So while I ordered those, I also picked up a bunch of just one dollar lashes to just try out different styles, try out different things. So today I'll put the exact name of the lashes up on the screen and in the description box, but they're almost the exact like size and length of my normal lashes. <laughs> so they're really more just to get me used to the feeling of wearing them and to putting them on but i feel like they add just a little bit to the look i like it but this has been my go-to neutral look for a few weeks now which is why i've been able to hit pan in adorn finally because when i use this all over my lid like as i used electric it made a really dark look which is it was a pretty look but it's not something i could like wear to work like this i can wear to work because i was able to diffuse it throughout my crease and I've actually really been liking it. I've still been using Rowdy just in my brows. I am again wearing Rowdy in my brows today and I feel like I'm going to keep using it like that until Rowdy is completely used up. The only things that I feel like I'm still a bit stumped on are using Untamed and Axis. I haven't really touched them that much over the past couple of weeks so there's really not much movement on those. But I have to say, I'm just very happy with my progress on Rowdy, Adorn, and Electric. 
So yeah, I feel like this is just a nice quick update. I'm really happy with my progress. Make sure you follow me on Instagram because I did actually do a sneak peek of this when I first used up electrics. I used it up not too long after my last update, but everyone who follows me on Instagram did see that sneak peek a couple of weeks ago when I finished that up. And I'm trying to get a little bit more active on Instagram, trying to do more palette reviews there, trying to just be more active on Instagram stories too. So if you haven't already, make sure you check out my Instagram. That's gonna be it for this quick update. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below how your Pan That Palette 2019 is going and if you're already thinking ahead to 2020 because I've been knocking around some ideas for my next Pan That Palette and I've got two strong contenders for next year. I'm still deciding but the fact that I'm already thinking about next year is like blowing my mind but then again it's like it's August. It's August. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.